Greetings. My name is Vivek Soy. I am a clinical nephrologist practicing at Henry Ford Hospital in Detroit, Michigan. This review article discusses prevention and management strategies for combating catheter-related bloodstream infections in hemodialysis patients. Hemodialysis necessitates an access to allow connection of an individual to the dialysis machine. Infection is the second leading cause of death in patients with end-stage renal disease. Access-related infections are a significant contribution to this overall infection rate. Ideally, hemodialysis access would involve placement and maturation of an arteriovenous fistula prior to the initiation of therapy. Unfortunately, about 80% of new patients begin hemodialysis with a catheter due to logistic and physiologic factors involved in AV fistula creation and development. Colonization of dialysis catheters via skin flora occurs almost universally. Migration of bacteria from the catheter hub to the exit site and ultimate endoluminal location leads to the production of biofilm, which acts as a reservoir for virulent bacteria. Preventative therapies center on appropriate catheter maintenance, infection control measures, and early removal of devices as patients transition to an AV fistula or graft when the latter become ready for use. Checklists have been designed to synchronize catheter care and decrease variability that may lead to error. When conservative measures fail to prevent infections in a high-risk population, antimicrobial lock therapy should be considered as an option to combat catheter-related bloodstream infections. This has been used both for treatment involving catheter salvage and for prophylaxis to prevent infection. It involves instilling antimicrobial solution into the catheter lumen and allowing it to dwell between treatments with the intention of sterilizing the inner lumen of the catheter. Prophylactic antimicrobial lock has been controversial due to the fear of antibiotic resistance. However, additional data has been supportive of its use, with one trial showing a mortality benefit. Finally, lock solutions that have antiseptic properties that are not antibiotic-based are also discussed in this review. Thank you for the opportunity to discuss this challenging topic.